Hi, we're here in the Centropic One. This is a system that we planted about three and a half years ago now. And um, this is the fourth rainy season here. Um, and I think we're in the accumulation phase now. So this is a cacao. You can see this is only two years old. We planted this in the third winter of the system. Um, and so um, these are just catching on. If we had it to do again, I would have planted these at the beginning when we started the whole system. Also, um, the other two really big takeaways that we've learned in terms of the design of this system and what we've learned is better for other systems is that instead of digging big holes and then planting tree seeds and, and baby trees along the tree line, it's better to loosen the entire tree row. By doing that, then the roots will have a chance to expand out horizontally along the tree row. Um, and it'll allow us to plant a much higher density of trees along the tree row. So here's an Inga or a, a Guaba as they, they go by here, um, or an ice cream bean as they're called in English. And this is a pruning tree. And so the emergent trees like the eucalyptus, the Brazilian fern tree, the teak, um, amarillo, and other, other tree species, timber that we have here, we prune back to four and a half meters or five meters tall. The guava, because it's so prolific in growing biomass and it doesn't really grow very vertically, it spreads out a lot, we manage this one much shorter. This is just something that we pruned down. And so here, this cacao could use a little bit more light right now. And also going into the dry season, it could use some more mulch to keep the soil nice and covered and cool to retain the moisture. And so this is a tree that I, I uh, would prune back just this way. Just just gonna kind of bend it over and Turn it back to about that size. Really opens up the light down here and it gives us all this nice biomass here. We can put some over here on this row, which is a little bit more sparse. Feed this cacao. This is a nasadera or madre de aguas. So is something that we added into the rows that are a little bit more sparse. That can be a very low strata species, even underneath the cacao. Um, or it can be something uh, that you let grow a little taller and be a shade. And so we kind of transition it. We start it out as a shade for the cacao. And then as the cacao grows bigger, we'll reduce the nasadera down to be more of a uh, understory of the cacao. And even in total shade, the nasadera can produce a lot of biomass. So put this biomass from the guava nicely here at the base of the cacao. Continue to mulch this down here. This system is one hectare, focused on the production of cacao and avocados and mangoes, bananas and timber. And so this species really doesn't mind being pruned aggressively like this at all. It's a legume. It, it heals and re-sprouts very vigorously after a pruning like this. And so, you know, it just leaves us with a, a great mulching and biomass for our cacao in this case. Plus, from an aggressive pruning like this, it's also going to be doing some root exudates and some hormones to benefit the, the cacao. So. This is a Centropic One system, a one hectare system here at Los Arboleros Farm. As we walk down this way, we see we have jackfruit in here also. Jackfruit have uh, really been negatively impacted by pests, armadillos and bunnies and other species really have eaten a lot of the jackfruit. And so even though we've planted it every three meters throughout the whole system, we probably only have about I don't know, 50% of the spots that should have jackfruit with a jackfruit and so you know it's one of those things we have to accept with our system is that we have to you know accept what nature here is ready for also we have our goals and our ideas about the design and then our our bioregion or ecosystem here at the farm has other ideas about what it's ready for and so you know we can fight against that to some degree but also we have to sort of just wait to see what manifests and what begins growing in the system. Back here, you can see a secondary forest. This is a, a ravine and a, a creek valley. 
And it's interesting to note the difference of the edge of the system close to this forest. Uh, the shade of the forest makes the syntropic system lean this way a little bit to lean towards the sun. But it also, um, I think the rhizosphere and uh, interaction of biomass and everything from that ecosystem also benefits this because in general, we see the cacao around here and other species are growing with more, more vitality, tend to be a sort of deeper green. There's a, a pretty happy looking cacao bush right here. At the end of the line, another nasadera. So that's a little update from the Syntropic One system here at Los Arboleros Farm at the Regeneration Field Institute. Um, stay tuned for more updates soon.